Okay, today is going to be kind of a walkthrough on the different, the setup and some of the things that I've got going on that have been kind of taking up time and energy. And some of the things that you'll be seeing here shortly. Um, as you can tell, there's that's a 70 inch touch screen. Uh, I think there's 10 points that you can, like, I think you have three people touching 10 different points at the same time on it. And that's fed out of the lap, that lap, laptop and that keyboard. This one is just a straight 70 inch monitor. It's not a television, it's a computer monitor. And it's uh, fed off of that one. But at the same time, I could power it off of that one. Um, but I just, for whatever reason, have not. Um, the other thing that I've got going on is I have this, this is the, uh, the thing that's the kind of the current ass beating and it is this right here and it is uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve okay uh, that has been kind of the just kind of so that you can get the whole aspect of the thing these are my work monitors. These are for my day to day. This is the one when I'm gonna watch something or uh, on YouTube, but up close instead of the electricity of this. This has got my, this is a uh, Kindle or whatever it is. It's a fire book or nonsense, whatever. That's got all my radio codes on it and band plan and all that other stuff on it. And some of the things that have been disconcerting and taking up a disproportionate amount of my time is getting this microphone um, set up in a way that is intelligent and feeding that speaker and that speaker and that big subwoofer down there. Uh, yes, I do have a mess of wires. Currently, I'm in the process of cleaning this little Apple 13 inch with a Pro Retina screen and the touch bar. And, you know, maybe some input here. Um, one of the things that I noticed with it, I don't even know if it's visible, but if you look at it right there around the Apple, you see that smudge right there? That's the impression off of the keyboard. And it's like, it's been the bane of my existence to tell you the truth. So I'm trying to get that cleaned up and get rid of it. Um, at the same time, uh, figuring out how to power this, which goes this, and it's a mixing board and sound card and all that stuff into a laptop that's similar to that one that sets on a shelf underneath. And then of course my work computer uh, comes off of this and it's on a shelf underneath and that's the keyboard and mouse for that. Uh, that's also a, sp uh, a speaker and a uh, microphone for like uh, Zoom calls or WebExes or whatever. And in the process of all that, um, trying to get this thing to work properly to do voiceovers on videos here and with some of the uh, stuff here. I, I don't even know if I need this at all. Um, then I also wanted to be able to use the two webcams for different views. I was going to set one up over here and kind of point it in you know, for like a side shot, and then this one kind of head on. Um, but then being able to record that 
and what software do I use to record what's going on on the screen. So if I can do some ads for that. Um, this little deal here is set up straight up for SDR radio, which is that stuff, right? Uh, it's this stuff here, okay, on YouTube. And at the same time, you can see on this one, this is my guy right here, Key West Kayak Fishing, uh, doing fishing videos, which I've had some great success with lately. Um, and then there's other projects that are racked up over there. And so today's projects, I'm going to have three projects. I don't know if I'm going to try to combine them all into one or if I'm going to try to separate them out. Um, this is also set up for SDR, uh, or just regular, just sitting in the chair with this little stool or table up against it to, um, work from and of course you know there's all the ham radios and crap over there and studying to get my ham radios license and then projects like better antennas for the SDR dongles and what this is is a powered loop antenna and it'd be a big loop. This would be on the bottom of the loop. That'd be at the top of the loop. Um, yeah. And, well, maybe that's up at the top. I don't know for sure. I'd have to review it. Anyways, one of those is you got a power supply. And I would think that that would be at the bottom. But this is the feed. So... I'm not really quite sure. Oh. This is at the top. This is at the bottom. This is a something or other. I don't even think it goes into. It might go in there. Don't know. So, anyways, that stuff all goes together and the problem is, is that it's a, it's a rigid wire, but it doesn't keep the loop shaped. So what I'm going to do is get some tubing, some rigid tubing, and cut it to lengths of each one of those half sides of the, of the um, loop itself, the rigid wire, and give it some rigidity, run those cables through the inside of the PVC, and so it's easy to hang up. And then I've purchased a cheap, cheap tripod. Oh, it's right there. And using that guts out of an old CB radio, using that as the mast, be able to mount this up in the air on top of the tripod and see if I can't get some better signals to come in. So there's that. That project. Then the other project of learning... Um, DaVinci Resolve, and of course, this one's running Resolve, and this laptop is a beast. I think it's got 64 gigs of RAM in it. Its little sister is the same thing, uh, identical units, and it's got Resolve on it. This one has Resolve on it, but it's not powerful enough. This one has Resolve on it, and it's another beast, but yeah. And, of course, then there's the old ancient laptop that uh, Apple that's basically a desk weight. But it's so cool and so old that I really don't want to get rid of it. So that breaks us down to two other projects that uh, I really wanted to uh, go over. And they're not so much projects, but an explanation. This little laptop this is the coolest coolest little sucker i've gone through and rebuilt just about everything in it and it's beat up it's scuffed up and most recently when i installed the sdr dongles on it i believe i overwrote the the drivers for the wireless and now it does not connect to wi-fi 
Um, if I connect it directly to a hotspot, it will. Uh, but in looking up the, the information about it online, it's apparent that these things are using killer, a brand of Wi-Fi card called Killer Cards or something like that, and they're notorious for being crap. So, I'm like, okay, so I'll just go out and order one. And then I started thinking and went to the drawer of unspeakable junk and realized, hey, I probably got a half dozen wireless cards here. And probably the one that I'd want to use is um, the 82... Um, See, like this is a wire, this is for Wi Fi uh, or for having an air card. Probably something like this. And the numbers are so dang small, I'd have to use a microscope to, or my magnifying glass. But I'm assured that in there, as a matter of fact, if I got them on my eBay page for sale, um, that I have a newer model. And what I was planning on doing is just finding one out of this, and I've got another box full of this crap. It's, on, uh, uh, it's actually a round dish. But I have a plethora of those. So the plan is, is that I'm just gonna, oh, I just went out and got this, an optical cable because I have a docking station that works with apples or apples or apples or apples and using the optical with this, I've got a mountain of hard drives over there, like 10 or 12 terabytes that are just setting over there. I can't use because they're just setting over there and just finding the time and the desire to do so. It's kind of funny. If you look over here, this keyboard and that mouse controls these monitors. That keyboard with the attached mouse controls that one. That keyboard right there controls that computer. That keyboard and mouse controls my work computer. So, back on point. Uh, this right here I'm going to just flip it over, um, and there's a T5 screws, and I believe there's a Phillips head under there. Flip it over, T5 uh, Phillips head screw. Undo the sound card or the wireless card, and just plug it in. Turn or flip it, put it back together, turn it on, and let Windows find the, the wireless card and see if I can't get wireless connection back on this. The other thing I wanted to do is a quick review on this little puppy, okay? And what this is, is a DJI 2 or, or whatever. And some of the cool things about this is this little, it's a con complete unit, okay? And let me just set this down, okay? Because I'm trying to do this in one shot so I don't have to do any editing. I can, that's what's been the killer is having to do editing on pieces. So that's kind of what I was known for. If you've ever watched any of my videos, it's kind of a one take, one shot. And I wanted to do a review on this thing real quick. And this is a small 4K camera that, uh, is, depending on which way you turn it on, is, a, is determines which way the camera's facing. So if I, on this side, if I push this button on right here, it comes and is facing us for selfies. Okay, okay, that's all well and good. Turn it off and it seats itself so that you can slide it back in the case and the, the little camera's protected, the screen is protected, the joystick sticking out, um, whatever. Now, if you turn it on this with this button right here, it comes on and it's facing outward, okay? Now, the only issue that I have with it is, is I took it out fishing with me, and my only problem with it was is that I couldn't really see what I was looking at. And getting this thing to 
I mean, you can adjust where it's pointing. You know, if you watch it, it's turning. And then you can center something in the screen and it'll follow it, whatever you're doing. You know, it's a lot smoother. Um, so there's some work that needs to go into this to, you know, figure out exactly how this thing works. This is a, like a add-on power pack at the bottom. You can see the two different pieces there. Uh, doing this gives it a little bit more power. You can pull it USB-C uh, charge. It gives you the tripod mount and then you can, you know, use it on a tripod, uh, either a regular one or on this case right here, screwed onto it is a tripod that you just fan out. You unscrew it from the case. Okay, you take it off of there and you unfold it. It unscrews and it screws right on the bottom right there. I hope I'm making myself relatively clear. Now, one of the other things that I haven't tried and was dropped is supposedly you can take and plug this in the butt end of like my camera or my cell phone here and use the cell phone screen to do your video work. Okay, and it's like a SLR handle on the side. However, what you'd be using I don't know if you can see those very well. There's two little adapters. There's one over here, that's the lightning, and then that's a, that one in the center is a USB-C. That down in there is a wide angle uh, lens. Let me take that out and show it to you. It's that deal there. Probably good for it to be just dropping it. And that just snaps on the front of the screen of the camera and it gives you a wide angle lens and that of course mag magnetically stays inside there uh, one of the cool things about this is this deal here now that is a parable microphone you slide that switch over and the light starts beeping um, that's not the light the light is actually up here right there telling you that it's paired to the device. It's got a clip, you know, like a belt clip or a shirt clip. You can see it right there. And you put it on your collar and then you've got, you know, a close up microphone with a dead cat attachment so that you can get good audio on that when you're recording. Now, the only thing that I don't particularly care for, and maybe it's because, you know, obvi, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but that dead cat is notorious for just falling off, leaving a bare microphone. And lately it's been windy enough that you really don't want to just go running around with that. Um, so that is one of the ways of getting content created and getting it to you, my trusted and long-suffering subscribers or people that may see it, see one of my videos. Um, however, I believe DJI might have, or DJI might have editing software, but that's a fourth or fifth uh, piece of software to edit. I'm running this on my uh, 13 Pro Max and simply because I bought it with one terabyte so that I could run video on it, be able to comp get pieces and stitch it together with iMovie and then upload it to YouTube, boom, boom, boom. However, I would like to a little higher quality, but at the same time, I need to start just snapping these videos out and putting it out on the internet. So I'm a little consistent. I am recording, I am documenting, but being able to go from this medium or uh, the Osmo camera, which looks just like a GoPro or the GoPro or the phone and being able to import them all up into DaVinci and learning how to use DaVinci and be able to do voiceovers and uh, be able to hear what it sounds like 
a lot of it has just been a little bit taxing. Plus, I'm trying to get rid of some unused equipment and fix this and get that antenna created so that I can get better listening enjoyment out of it. Um, and in the meantime, I've got a perfectly good iMac 27 inch uh, and a monitor. I actually have a second monitor, but I, where am I gonna have two big ass monitors like that with that? I'm, I'm out of floor space and I'd like to have some comfort over here and or I could put another desk or what over here, but that's just kind of a no-go. The other thing that I've been wanting to get involved in and get on to is that's a box of drones over there. There's like that one right there. Have yet to be able to even get involved with those and figure those out. So that's what's going on. Um, kind of an update on the uh, layout and the setup and the what up. And... Thank you for sticking with me if you've lasted this long. I do appreciate your time. And I'm going to just process this thing, render it through iMovie and just slap it up on YouTube. There'll be more of this. There'll be definitely more of this. And there'll be more of this. Those are the three things I'm working on today. And I will try to put a separate video out. Maybe not just dump them all at once because that's kind of stupid and kind of space them out so that you know that there is at least something going on in the background and the channel's at least worth supporting for a couple more minutes. Thank you for your time. And if any of this sounds immediate, even a little bit interesting to you, leave me a thumbs up, comments, um, and I'll get back to you. Uh, whatever comments are made. I don't really read them. I, I'm not notified that I have comments and I just saw that I had a couple on some of my videos. And believe it or not, some of my videos, one of them's got like one and a half thousand views. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I think it's consistency, it's quality, and it's content. And I'm either not hitting on all three, I'm not hitting on one of the three. Uh, something is not going. And I think number one, is consistency uh, in creating content. Um, you can't steer a park truck. So anyways, give me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing and supporting the channel. And thanks. Be good to each other. Bye.